starting this commission a new client. This is a prototype. Prototype character right there. I'm gonna go down the list of his ideas and make sketches today. down a bit oh my voice thingy was a little bit low too maybe that's better I will just uh, doing it do it a little notch at a time much better okay because I still I still want the music to be heard but uh, of course the balance is important so thank you welcome miss copycat Right, we had a couple of game streams in a row, not much art streams lately, so I have to get back on the art grind. <laughs> I'm just, just compelled to try to finish my game uh, as fast as I can, Demon Souls, because Cyberpunk is coming like in two days. It's actually a very important game for artists. It's like the big game of the decade, and uh, we're gonna need to get on the artwork game. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna play the game off stream. Yeah. Probably gonna play Cyberpunk off stream. So it's probably a game with like a million hours of game time, and uh, it's just important that I. Play it casually, learn about the characters, and make some emote sets of Cyberpunk on Etsy and artworks on YouTube. <laughs> I'll try to be part of the train this time, the art hype train. Hi, Paper! False fruit, welcome. How are you guys doing? It's good to be here, it's good to have you joining. Like I said, I haven't had much uh, art streams lately. And today I should have started much earlier. But uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a short three hour stream, but uh, I will stream art most of the week this week. And just game probably next weekend to finish my Demon Souls game. <laughs> so I have like a 16 emote commission here. Right after that I'm gonna make a cyberpunk emote set for my YouTube content but also for Etsy, for my Etsy store. So I'm excited about that a lot. Just chilling? Thank 
came, I came out with my new tutorial video on YouTube yesterday. It's the one about how to export my emotes in one button, like a super awesome shortcut for Photoshop users. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Thanks, paper. <laughs> Do you draw a little bit too, paper? But yeah, it does save so much time. It's pretty cool. Oh, you draw a lot. Maybe I uh, forgot about that detail. So you also draw some emotes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Copycate. Yeah, the first link there, the R channel, that's the one that I'm going to have a big focus on in the upcoming weeks and months. I'm gonna grow that thing. It works in general for exports. That's true, yeah. It's a way to learn about uh, how to use Photoshop Actions, I suppose, you know? It's, it's, it's pretty cool what you can do. Oops, okay. It was so sad, I realized that all of my my past uh, streams of Demon Souls that I exported to my game YouTube channel, they all had no game audio. Because I forgot that I installed a stupid thing from uh, from Twitch, a little app that you, that you set up on OBS, and it removes the audio from the VODs. And um, although I uninstalled that feature as fast as I could, when I understand how it works. Um, there was a setting in my OBS that I forgot to undo. And so everything that I was recording for my VODs and YouTube had no game audio. And I was, I was so sad because it's the most important game of the year for me. It's content that I wanted to just keep on my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, it didn't have any game audio. Just my voice, so that's uh, that was a big bummer. I was pretty annoyed about it, but shit happens. <laughs> it's okay. Just screwed up a bit of my content and bots, but hopefully that's fixed. Yeah, the Twitch uh, music thing, you know, that's made just to make to help people dodge the law some more. <laughs> like it's so bad. It puts broadcasters in. 
in danger, really. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna get into a phase that will be a little bit difficult for content creators with DMCAs and stuff. Labels are just feeling free to to just dis destroy content creators right now. And the law and the DMC laws are not adapting fast enough, so I think for like two years was we're gonna pay a big price. There might be a point where we can't play much gaming. Like there's a guy I saw on, on Twitter today. All of his uh, his whole channel is uh, Nintendo songs, um, especially from like I don't know some uh, some Wii Mario. I don't know which one. And he grew a big channel with just like having songs and game content from Nintendo. And <laughs> every single video got flagged. He just lost everything today. And whatever uh, label uh, Nintendo is using they are starting to attack youtubers now so like game music was was our little or was the only place that we could go really if game music becomes a risk it, yeah content creators are gonna be in big danger it really sucks. There has to be something done about it. New laws for sure. Different different licenses. Hmm. At least I'm lucky if it comes down to it. I'm just, I'm just always making my own content with my art and everything. Just selling art. Expression do you guys prefer one or two for a bunk? <laughs> Perfect, thank you. I'm just probably going to be sketching all of the emotes over today and tomorrow and then the rest of the week I'll turn them into real emotes. Next week I'm going to work on my... Oops, I'm going to make a big uh, emote batch for Etsy, for my Etsy store. I love doing that. I'm so, uh, I'm so excited about uh, my Etsy business now. I'm going to try to fill it with awesome emotes. I'd like to make a World of Warcraft batch right after. Did you see that aliens are trending on Twitter? <laughs> Because some Israeli guy started saying some nonsense about aliens. 
It's trending. thing is if you just do some basic math, very very basic math, it's absolutely clear that there's statistically uh, there's other life out there in the universe, even from just uh, the space that we know, the known universe. It's 100% certain. <laughs> but. It's another thing to uh, to have them come here and discover uh, life in, on other planets. It's not impossible, it's just much less likely. <laughs> game tonight otherwise I would have streamed longer Oops. but tomorrow should be a nice early early good stream now that I broke the ice with this commission <laughs> Do you guys plan on seeing some family this uh, Christmas? It's a, it's a very touchy situation. Right now, even in Canada where I live, the, the cases are on a super mega rise. And now they don't even want us to see family this Christmas. That's pretty hardcore. It's illegal to see family on Christmas. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Obviously, people won't follow those rules, but or at least some people might at least take more precautions, like seeing, uh, just kind of separating the, the family. <laughs> That's what I'm. I mean, I might just literally see on my parents alone, and just kind of zoom the rest of the family. <laughs> it's sad, but hey, it's less sad than uh, killing your your parents with COVID. It's not that sad actually, you know, it's just one year and things will go back to normal soon. It's 
skipping one Christmas in our whole life in favor of being safe. Eh, seems good to me. Oops, what am I doing? What day are we? <laughs> Feels like a Monday, but no, yesterday was Monday. Yeah, oh, that's what happened. I streamed games. I streamed my Demon Souls PS5 game all weekend. So yesterday I had to take a, a grown man break. The brain break. <laughs> Some old man brain break. Hi, Sub Zero. My favorite character of old school Mortal Kombat. Bob Champ. I have not played one any of the modern Mortal Kombat, only the, the retro ones. I used to play them all the time. Hi KXM! Yeah, so yesterday was offline, took it really really easy. I made some some more Christmas emotes, some uh, very late order of Christmas emotes for Dizzy Kitten. I finished uh, creating the mascot for this new client, which is a friend of another client of mine. So his name is Fina Menam. We're gonna make 16 emotes. Yeah, I like it now. That's a decent sketch. Might still lower his like arms later. Oops. Just don't know how it's gonna look. Now it's fine. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that detail, but a part of this mascot is uh, an important part is the headphones, and they are meant to go under his ears, which is weird, but it's also unique. <laughs> Gonna add a, a nice contrast of colors to. I like that about the mascot, and also the facial patch. May look weird, but it actually makes it really unique. It's becoming a really good mascot. Comes off pretty nice in 28 by 28. So we created this mascot with the client over a couple of uh, evenings <laughs> mm. 
not sure if I have space for the other headphone on that other side. Kind of hides the, the hand. Maybe I'm just gonna hide it. <laughs> nice. Are any of you uh, gonna play Cyberpunk in a day and a half? Or I don't know when it comes out actually. I don't know if it's like tomorrow at midnight. I think it's tomorrow at midnight actually. Oof, I have some friends that are like waiting like insane. Like it's the game of the decade for them. Uh, some people are just like, meh, whatever. You hype for Cyberpunk? I think we should be hype for Cyberpunk. If we like the very detailed game, it's gonna... I don't know. I always like a good gamer event. Like, I will never forget the first... The first week of World of Warcraft, when it came out in 2005. I'll never forget that. It's the gamer event of probably my whole life. I was in my early 20s, much like you guys. It came out. I was living. I was in my first apartment with my, with two of my best friends. We geeked out. Um, we freaking geeked out for like two years non-stop. I, I just had like a shitty... A restaurant job to pay the bills and I was the rest was just me playing World of Warcraft for almost three years straight <laughs> no girlfriends <laughs> it's like the, the gamer moment of my life it was awesome it was absolutely awesome what an experience it was just insane we were all living a separate life in there I was guild leader for a time. It was it was everything. Such an experience. And you can't put that on your on your CV, right? You can't put that on your resume. But it's such a gigantic social experience to lead people on to lead to uh, lead like a guild to raid lead and stuff like that. Manage a community. It's a huge experience for like being um, a business a business owner for example absolutely it's funny that you can't really use that in other aspects of your life like i mean on paper you know you can't prove to anyone that you have this experience my gosh that's it that's kind of a topic that's a topic Should put that on youtube at some point <laughs> Wait, for real, I'm gonna take notes. <laughs> I'm actually a YouTuber now. such a good actually good conversation i'll keep that for like a podcast or whatever all right like it's insane how much experience it gave me with uh managing a, a community i mean like social relations in general oops where's that webcam
feeling pretty gay pretty good like I'm feeling relaxed <laughs> had a good brain day yesterday just to re just recover Like I'm not tired anymore, I'm just a bit drowsy, <laughs> as if like I slept too much or something. That's how I feel. Alright, well, I got, I got kind of two sketches done. So I can call it a day. Bye! Just kidding. I'm not, I'm not gonna be that lazy. are pretty great it's like entire nation full of online people the concept is amazing it's strange that after wow the mmo scene kind of did pretty bad i mean world of warcraft is so established it's so big it's so perfect it's tons generates so much money that they can keep it awesome kind of like forever they they were able to kill the competition every year so for everyone that played enough wow that they wanted something new there was nothing for these people <laughs> there was nothing a little bit of hype like oh this new uh star wars mmo looks fun dies after like five months Psh, like they all died like that it's pretty sad i feel like right now the only other mmo that really survived well and got its little core core audience so passionate that it gathers more people all the time is Final Fantasy XIV. Just like FF11 survived in the next to World of Warcraft. They just have so much good core like Japanese audience and it was a little bit like hardcore grindy game. Yeah, the Final Fantasy MMO has always survived next to WoW, and that's pretty impressive. Alright, I'm gonna do another sketch. So buggy, they said Ludo. Oh, hi Ludo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did read that too, that... Like, they, they're get they're... The reviewers were like, I can't really review it because this game probably has like, you know, 500 hours of gaming and uh, <laughs> and it's very bugged right now and might not be as bugged soon. So it's like it will become great, but it's a bit too early to give it a honest review. So after all of that time, the game is still very buggy. Woo! my list of uh, emails. Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. Um, I'm kind of happy to be to be back making some emotes with you guys. It's nice. I'm excited for next year too. I'll make like a giant focus on YouTube. I'll be on that YouTube grind, try to grow a big YouTube channel. 
and I'll be also streaming, streaming, making art for my Etsy store and for YouTube, and for having fun because we love streaming. I'm excited because if I grow a YouTube channel, we should be able to, to get some fresh new people here on the channel. It's kind of like the one way to grow now. So that's going to be exciting. What are you guys playing lately? Game wise. For me, 100% Demon Souls. I'm trying to savor it. Um, I wish Saber, uh, like Cyberpunk, would, honestly, was not timed so closely with Demon Souls. Personally, I kind of wish I could just spend the whole month just savoring Demon Souls and playing it twice. It's just like it's my game. It's it's tailor made for me. I'm the core um, target audience. For these games, for the Miyazaki games. So, but I'm almost done with my first playthrough, and yeah, I'll have to switch directly to Cyberpunk. <laughs> I don't know if I'll stream it though. That's uh, that's a big question, because for the push that I'm trying to do, YouTube, my comics, everything, I need my weekends uh, working on YouTube videos. Like I need to go super ham, and. I can't split myself with arts and gaming. And it's since everybody does gaming, and I'm an artist, of course it makes sense for me to grow in arts, grow an art channel and go ham with it and just embrace it. Which will bring people interested in arts to my Twitch channel. So this is all very good for me. It's all very good for me. But... Yeah, I won't have... Um, what am I saying? I got distracted. <laughs> yeah, so that does not give me or leave me enough time for gaming much and like especially a big game like Cyberpunk. By the time I would be done with this game, a bunch of games I'm interested in will come out and I don't know. Yeah, it would take all of my weekends and I, uh, it's going to prevent me from building my YouTube channel if I keep playing these games. So there are games that I might play like offline. Like during the evenings. Oh yeah, Cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a streamer mode in the game now where they change the the audio bank so that you don't get the MCA. That's very important. Paper you're playing at Crusader Crusader Kings. Oh I've never played them.
like there is some building strategy game type of thing. You want to play WoW, but it's so expensive here. Yeah? That sucks. I mean, isn't it relative to your currency? Like, normally, you know, I'm monitoring. Do you, do you think it's more expensive where you live? It's not relative? Hmm. Like, in Canada, it's always pretty relative. If you go for a six month subscription, it would be $13 a month in USD probably. So that's about like 20 bucks Canadian. That's a pretty heavy subscription. When you play WoW, you have to agree to only play WoW. <laughs> if you only play this game, the money is okay. But if you, if you buy other games on top of it, then that subscription is starting to be pretty big. Actually, I kind of like this, the face more in the middle like this, instead of like... It's looking a bit more at the camera, like... Blank. Let's see. What games are coming next year? Resident Evil Village. What is that? I'm ready for Resident Evil 8. Gotham Knights. What is that? A role-playing video game based on this DC Comics. Gotham Knights, a Batman RPG? Yeah, I heard about the Persona 5... Uh, sub game or whatever it is because it's gonna be a big moment for crystal absolutely it's like it's like i predicted the next time there is a persona game especially like persona 6 it's gonna be her moment she's gonna blow up have like six thousand views and have so much new visibility on her channel that they might stay around like she, this is uh, this is what she's building too and I gave I gave Crystal and Shenpai an idea, and they agreed it's a really good idea. Since they both share a lot of the same community, they both have a similar audience, and they do exactly the same content. Uh, and they are like best friends pretty much, and they don't stream in the same time zone. Uh, I've seen Five Five do that with another streamer, I forgot who, but it's like. One of them will play the first 12 hours of a day and host, like, for example, Crystal 
streams from like 10 to to 10 and then Shenpai would be hosted by Crystal and stream the other 10 uh, 12 hours and then she, the next day she hosts Crystal and they keep hosting each other like this so whenever there's a new personal game every time there's a new personal game or something that is very good for their stream they can do that always send the, the, the viewers like that they're gonna be on top of the personal channel uh, personal yeah they're gonna own twitch so this is very very good I think it's a super good strat and they agreed to do it so I'm excited to I don't know how popular Persona 5 strikers will be but I mean I'm sure it's gonna be reasonably hyped for the Persona fans So this is a very good power move that uh, Crystal and Shenpai will do together. It's awesome. You love Shenpai? Nice! She is! She's so fun. Off stream too, you know, just a great person. She's She, she and Crystal are becoming besties, for real. <laughs> they get each other so much and they're like very similar people. It's very cute. They stream literally the same content. <laughs> they have like the same interests. And they just support each other. It's really great. stream a lot it's important to grow to for growth not everybody gets to to play Fortnite with a bunch of other streamers and cross like promote like that and grow we don't not everybody plays shooters so you do what you can to co-op <laughs> My personal break will be whenever I have like a hundred K subs on YouTube <laughs> with a good channel. That's the only way for me. As far as Twitch audience go, I mean, because uh, my, my business is great. I'm doing, I'm doing very well. It's just that I have other goals that I want to reach. Because I like content creating and I, I want to grow that side of thing myself. Anonymous cheerer. Well, thank you. The village is eight. Hmm? What's village? Is there a oh? Okay, Resident Evil Village is 8. Why don't they call it 8? Come on. <laughs> Why do you gotta be like that? Little, night Little Nightmares 2. I still have to play the first one. Oh. Uh, the Game Awards are um, Thursday. I would stream that, but I don't know when it's like at what time it's gonna be because I have a 
my second dentist appointment part two in the afternoon so hmm. uh game awards uh 6 p.m. ET? Three p.m. PT. I'm ET. So six thirty p.m. my time. Wow, in the deep evening. <laughs> um, I might stream it. I could have an evening stream Thursday. And just kind of draw, do my work, and watch the Game Awards at the same time. We could watch it together. Resident Evil 7 is the best horror game I have ever played. Like, I doubt they can top it with Resident Evil 8, but I'm sure it's gonna be a good game, though. And I feel like it was the first time in Resident Evil that we were not, like, some badass cop with, like machine guns <laughs> it so it was definitely back to being a bit more survival of a normie person <laughs> hey go to gamer who knows who was the one bit cheerer it is not meant to be known. We will never know. Is getting one bit bad or good? What do you mean? I think it's the equivalent of one cent. 
so it's it's neither bad or good. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good. If a hundred people gift one bit, then it's one dollar. No, I think it. No, it's fine, because yeah, um, it's up to the streamer to make it so alerts only show up, like bit alerts only show up after a certain margin of bits. So it's whatever if people cheer just one, but you can have an alert for when they, when it's like a minimum of one hundred bits. I think it's what I have. sure that the character is chunky sometimes it means making the face a bit smaller in the, in the head frame but uh, I don't want this face too small since the emote is zoomed out Yeah, the feels amazing man is is made to be look a bit derpy. There's no way around it. <laughs> We have three sketches done. Yeah, I could watch the Game Awards Thursday. That sounds fun. Oh, 
What's the big five go to? Five biggest companies in the world. I'm wondering what the what the others are, like Microsoft. Oh, specifically in internet technologies. Ten biggest companies in the world. Walmart. Really? Walmart? China Petroleum. Amazon, number three. Petro China. Apple, CBS Health Corp, Royal Dutch Shell. <laughs> I don't know these companies. Toyota, Volkswagen. <laughs> really? Walmart. Amazon is scary. They can replace everything over time. It's just the perfect system. And apparently they don't pay tax. They don't play uh, pay taxes in the U.S. That blew my mind when I learned that like this year. I was like, no wonder the country is rich, but the people are poor. <laughs> if, if companies like Amazon don't pay taxes. What the fuck? Next emote. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. Evil grin, a very up close angle, looking up at face with evil closed mouth grin. Okay, angle looking up at face. From which perspective are we looking up at at the emote's face? So he's looking down, or <laughs> I think I'll have to ask him that. Next emote. So we got about three sketches so far, it's nice. Next, next. So for the jam emote, he says pause on headphones. Did you know that's an expression that I created? That's one of the many original ideas that I created. The jam emote, like jamming with he with hands on headphones. <laughs> Nobody knows that, but I did. 
Yeah. So, hmm. But this is interesting because his character has headphones under the ears on purpose. So I'm wondering in an emote where he would listen to music, the jam emote. It's not specified, but I think I should probably put his headphones on his actual ears this time. At least for the sake of that emote. Unless it's implied that he listens to music without putting headphones on his ears, but that would be weird. I think I'm gonna trust myself and go with headphones on actual ears. We know that. We know that. That's what's important. Nice, nice. Oh, 
I'm still taking risk with when I stream with bands like that playing. I did eat my VOD after, but I know I'll have to stop that soon. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't work without good music. It's gonna be hard. I might have to like listen to my own music in my ears and play crappy music on, on the stream. <laughs> it's so sad. I don't want to do that because I wouldn't have the same experience as you guys. This is good. I need, I'm only not sure of the style of the pause. For now, I'm thinking this. Much like the uh, bear mascot that I created for LS, um, because it's based on a teddy bear, so I like trying this weird teddy bear looking look on the paws. This can work if, uh, if I stick to this style. It's a very stubby kind of shape like this That emote that I is like five years old, <laughs> four years old. It used to have a little X on the butt, and and uh, Twitch banned it because of that. So this is the censored version. Yep. USA censorship <laughs> at work. I'm still unsure about the feels amazing man, but I don't know what. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. It's made to kind of look stupid, but. We'll see. Um, next. Okay. We're, we're doing pretty good. It's just a big commission. <laughs> There's a lot of emotes to do here. It's gonna take me all week. That's fine. I made sure to not have too much on my list this month. So what do we have actually? We have, yes, like 16 emotes for him. And then like two other clients this month. I don't want to let it pile up because I I want to make some nice emote batches for my Etsy store. I want to make tons of it, tons of them. So I'll try to do right after his commission this week. And, and a nice cyberpunk emote set, pay to use emote set for Etsy store. Right after. Can't, I can't delay that. So that should be next week's plan. 
and uh, that's good because I'm gonna start Cyberpunk offline probably this week get a good feel of it meet the characters and start drawing <laughs> and I should probably make a cool artwork of it too while it's super hyped and make a YouTube video of it that's how you grow Ooh, does that mean I'm gonna get to draw Keanu Reeves? <laughs> Butt naked in his bathtub? My dream? What time is it? 4.30? Ah, I still have some time. I'm actually doing pretty good. I want to see how many emotes total are in that list, actually. <sighs> Oof, yeah, 16. So, 12 more. <laughs> 12 more sketches. <laughs> Yeah, I won't, stream, I won't stream too long. I started a bit late and I have D&D this evening, so I have about an hour and a half left. But tomorrow should be a long stream and the rest of the week, basically. I'll go ham with this commission. It should be fun though. Chill, classic art streams. I'm looking if I ever did the trash can emote. Cause I'm gonna draw one. Oh, here's one. Look at these. I've been kicking, kicking butt this year. Seriously. <laughs> But I'm, I'm excited about the Genshin Impact emotes. I, they've been really popular on my Etsy store, and I might make a few more, as long as the game remains popular. But for now, definitely, for my Etsy store, definitely Cyberpunk as a priority, and then maybe a, a set for World of Warcraft Borderlands. Yeah, these are like client work except for Genshin Impact here that's that's for my Etsy store it's a new business I'm starting on my Etsy store I'm late though a lot of a lot of newer artists are growing faster than me on Etsy because they started they started making Etsy batches before me it's okay I got the I got the the the, the clientele the experience 
I just need to start making more and more batches on Etsy. Until I have like a lot of passive revenue from coming from Etsy, it's it's the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> Making emotes that everybody can purchase. It's a greater use of my time. If I can just have a big store full of emotes like that, of, of games that have a long lifespan like World of Warcraft, League of Legends. I watched an interesting movie yesterday. I'm a big movie and series whore. <laughs> I live for that, for fiction and good stories. And that's a bit of what I want to do in the future. I want to get back into writing and write my own like visual novel slash whatever. Just like using my art and my stories together. Um, I have ideas for that sort of content for YouTube. And also web comics. The fuck? But yeah, anyways, yesterday I watched an, an oldie that I forgot to watch <laughs> uh, Ender's Game with uh, Harrison Ford. Um, it was interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's it's from a book. The book was really ahead of its time about one thing. It might be total coincidence But it's in the future 50 years after an alien race from out of space Came trying to colonize the earth and they failed They lost the war and like 50 years later we're following um like they are training kids to be really good at like managing the the commanding of the war, the next war that's coming. And they understand that kids are the best to to adapt and learn like super fast. And um, so they practice these these war simulations 
where like a team of like six kids control the whole war, the whole thing. And the simulations are just like real wars. It's really interesting. Because I don't know if the author knew how much it's realistic that kids would probably be the best at it because it, it plays a bit like a video game. And seriously, humans peak at like 16 for video games. Like at 16, if you started young, you could be the best in the world. That's how StarCraft works, you know. At 24, you're too old. You start, you, your reflexes, your quick thinking is just not there anymore. Compared to the, the newer kids that come in at 15, 16 that just destroy you. It's about starting young, but also being young. If you want to be like the best of the best of the best in the world. So since the war, the war simulation was playing like a video game and the kids were trained into it, it made sense that um, they chose that really pre like this young prodigy, the 16 year old to do the, the commanding of the, of the upcoming war. It made so much sense. It's super interesting. But that author made that book in like what the 80s and I don't think they knew back then that the mind of like really young people was probably better for that kind of thing. <laughs> so it's like a story that aged really well. So here's the question here, uh, with this emote, if it's like manga S, my character wants me to have mostly black eyes like this, of the Baru style, the infamous style that I created long ago. I'm go so I'm going back to this art style for this batch, but it's limiting in a way. Uh, when you want a manga S emote with the eyes wide open, well, how do you have eyes wide open with beady black eyes like this? You can't, you're limited. So my client has to be okay with me sometimes having normal white eyes with small pupils. That's what I would recommend at least. It's okay to be versatile. Yeah, I'm very eager to work on my next Etsy batch. It's just really fun content for me because I'm not doing these emotes to please any client. So I'm just going ham with my own vision. It's like super comfy to work on. So that's content for next week. But working with clients is always a challenge. Sometimes it's a fun challenge. Sometimes it's fun to have someone to impress. Because <laughs> that's what we want as an artist. We want to make cool things that people will, will think is cool, really. <laughs>
Hey, go to! Thank you so much. You give to this channel. <laughs> It's always funny when people, well, non-subs gift, gift subs to other people. <laughs> hey, that's uh, an equal amount of support. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Is hey, it's Joey, someone that likes the my emotes? <laughs> sent you here oh amazing <laughs> well thank you again for the gift <laughs> you didn't have to resub yourself either Oh. Joey was the promoter of your channel. Well, thank you, Joey. <laughs> you didn't have to. But well, thank you so much for four months. Four months of support. Appreciate it a lot. Feel free to join the Discord if you haven't. I hang out a lot there in the subscriber area and the not safe for work area, which is the food barn. We're just posting like our meals and <laughs> our food ideas. It's funny. And want to spam him? Your emotes? You're in chat. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Before sleep in a slow cooker or <laughs> so that's my train of thought here. There's no way I think to keep the style of BD black eyes and having your eyes wide open. You can wide open and having just big pupils. It's impossible. Um, so you'll have to be okay with changing the style of the eyes once in a while, which I do. I do like that. The variety is some emote switching to eyeballs. It's a bit more versatile this way. But if not, you'll just have to give up on the white eyes idea.
Might be nice if I can show a little bit of the bear here. Wow! So my emotes brought you here? <laughs> That's amazing. I'm really happy when people like my emotes because they're a little bit unconventional, you know. Some of the best brands on Twitch are obviously animals because they're so... They make good emote mascot, they're so simplistic, they're cute. And I'm going with more like humanoid characters. It's a, it's a risk. But I like my emotes and I like my mascots, especially since I use them in other forms. I use them in my web comics and stuff. So there's there there are more than just an OC. <laughs> so it makes me happy when I see people actually genuinely enjoying them uh, as emo mascots. It's a lurky mode, so I should drop this in the frame a little bit. Yeah. Could be nice adding like a banana peel. mini break and then uh, I might have it in me to do one more hour I mean this is going pretty well I'll be right back
I'm back. What's up? What's up? This one is kind of cute. Might be a better lurk actually. I might recommend this one to my client. It's closer to the eye style that he likes. And it looks kind of cute. More lurky. The other one looks scared. I know it's made to be like the Monka, Monka trash emote. But for a lurk, maybe just cute lurking in the trash can. It's good enough. All right. So how many do we have? Five. Good. Yeah, 16 emotes is so many. <laughs> Definitely a, a weak project. Um, yeah, I think I will finish Demon Souls this weekend. Like I'm gonna stream it and finish it. Yeah, and all the next weekends I would resume uh, YouTube videos making and probably play games off stream for a while. Probably play Cyberpunk off stream. Can't really afford to play this like 400 hours game on stream. <laughs> I can't really, we really uh, put breaks on my content. All right, all right, next design. Interesting.
So this one is going super cyan in a little bit. Hi, Dark Wolf. It's been a while indeed. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. been amazing. How have you been? Things have been very good for me. <laughs> You're drowning in, in work and thesis. <laughs> I'm always drowning in stuff too. I understand the drowning life. Cyberpunk is coming and people are gonna drown even more. I will play it, but I've, I've decided to just play it offline, I think. Because, uh,. I want to push. I want to push my YouTube channel. Won't have too much time for Cyberpunk Live. <laughs> no, I want to go ham. I want to go like this. Yeah. Hey, Marts. How are you, Marts? good today thank you I took a brain brain rest day yesterday so today's nice I got uh, I got a D and D with my boys this evening and I'm starting to sketch my new client I have 16 emotes to make <laughs> for him
<laughs> I mean, I, I never really need work anymore. Like, I, you know, I mean, I have so much, so many long term clients that uh, I'm kind of good, you know? I'll, I'm, I'll never be, I think, in trouble, having trouble finding streamers. But I like. I like finding a, a cool opportunity to to uh, get someone that's already in my network. That's a pretty cool person. I didn't know the Blastoise before, though. I don't. I don't really know. But Blastoise is pretty cool. He was fun to work with. I'll make a second batch with for him uh, in about two weeks. <laughs> yeah, of course. I appreciate it that you mentioned me. I was like, why is he not reaching out to me? He's literally showing my emotes as an example of what he's looking for. <laughs> yeah, March 16 for this client here with the bear that we created. Um, next, I'm going to make a, an Etsy emote batch available to everyone. I'm very excited for it. I'll make a cyberpunk batch and after that probably a World of Warcraft batch. I want to grow that Etsy store full of emotes with a license that everyone can purchase them and use them. It's, a, it's the best side business possible for me. Did you see my uh, new YouTube video, Marks? Dark Wolf, do you know LS? I mean, probably since you're still around like the League of Legends community a bit. LS was one of the cool people that I work with this year. Mikaela reached out to me, you know, Tyler One's girlfriend. I mean, we've been following each other for a while, and then she reached out to me about making emotes. Because she's she is his manager. That's so cool. And I worked with both of them, and they've, they've been. It's it was a, a highlight of this year. We had fun working with each other, and he was so supportive of me. It was like adorable. He gave me so many shout outs. It was super awesome. I like it when I'm when I'm connected with like some really sweet people. I only work with people like that, or I try to. So you do nice. Yeah, he's a really cool dude. He lives in Korea. He's uh, this. He has a pretty incredible story. He kind of went over there really young with like nothing, <laughs> like living in the street basically. <laughs> nice marks. No, not marks. I'm talking about the streamer LS. Or I'm LS, I think is his YouTube channel, but we call it we call him. LS. He's uh, probably the biggest client I've had this year. Yeah, he lives in Korea. He's like uh, in master's level. 
uh, League of Legends. But he doesn't play professional. I mean, like he doesn't play for our team. He coaches, and he shall cast, and he's just a pretty cool dude in the community of League of Legends. <laughs> Congrats on affiliate. <laughs> Thank you, Marts. Which ones, though? These? Thank you, Marx. Hmm. Not sure if she if he should be looking up.
I'm in the mood for some anime music, but I... Fuck! I don't want to get DMC8. Sad. <laughs> Thank you, Mart. So the one sub you have has something. <laughs> oh yeah, DMC sucks. Like I was talking about at the beginning of my stream, content creators are about to have a hard time for a couple of years. Now that labels are turning their efforts towards content creators, we're gonna have to start a big war with them. There's a guy today on Twitter. His YouTube, his YouTube is mostly Nintendo stuff, Nintendo music, everything. He lost everything today. All his content is gone. Uh, all the everything that had uh, Nintendo music, he just lost it. So yeah, it's getting dangerous for content creators. We're like super at risk. And it's gonna get worse and worse for a while. Until these platforms can help push and change the law somehow. Like there's gonna have to be some change. Cause these laws are very old. We need like different different types of licenses. For like live content, especially when music is a background thing, see we like we need rules and different fees because we can't pay the same license as a radio station. Exactly, the labels. <laughs> it's very problematic. The golden days of streaming will be, will be gone. <laughs> it's just like when. Uh, our grandparents were able to to drive with a beer between their legs. <laughs> well, that's us in the old days where we were able to play whatever music and memes we wanted. Until we couldn't and we had to play shitty co copyright free music. <laughs> Hi Monta, thank you Monta. <laughs> Good evening. It's a new mascot that we're gonna work with for the next 60 emotes this week. I'm gonna spend all week on that. So I will be streaming mm, all all week, um, and then I'll stream Demon Souls again this weekend to try to beat it. Next week. I'm starting some Etsy emotes again. I can't wait for that. Probably a, a cyberpunk batch. And then a wow batch. Yeah, I want to. I already want to do some for these emotes. Nice. For this one, looks chubbier, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the jaw is better. They would drink with the police officer. <laughs> uh, times change.
Yeah, I just feel like I'm sure in five years the law will be better for content creator and music licenses. It's gonna adapt a bit, but for now we might enter some dark ages of streaming and content creating. We're all gonna have shitty music for a while. <laughs> And there's a lot of games that we might not be able to stream either. Hmm. Hey, Fade to Black, but not by Metallica, by Sonata Artica. <laughs> How many times did I play these songs? Every guitar player starts with Metallica. And like, Stairway to Heaven. Speaking of guitar playing, I won't be ever... Uh, like, I, I was so excited when I bought... Um, Rocksmith. Such an amazing game. To bring back the guitar and I was, I was starting to learn songs on stream. It was really fun. RIP <laughs> The month after I got the game There's this DMCA stuff There's no absolutely no way I'll ever be able to play this game on stream Very sad, but Eh I won't complain I'm still in a very good place There's a lot of people that became jobless this year With the pandemic and that lost their dream Business that they created the year before so, eh, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Things are pretty good for me. That's just one little hindrance, the DMC thing. Yeah. What's the moves that they have been doing that people hate uh, before the one I just mentioned? I know people are unhappy with Nintendo right now, but I forgot why. I forgot why. What do you think? Smash? What happened with Smash? I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, they took down a tournament. Is it some a tournament that was going on like yearly that uh fans would organize, like third parties would organize. I used to watch a couple of these tournaments. The a large tournament. It might be the one that I used to watch a couple of years in a row. Ah, it's so bad. Like Nintendo, if they don't plan to have their own yearly big tournaments, they should not prevent people from doing it. It's really good for the game. What the fuck? It's so weird. Why making all of these weird moves? I thought they were more more cool. Like this, I think last year they stated that they were gonna start being more lenient towards. Uh, Fan art. And people were like, cool, Nintendo. And started like, like you can monetize like Pokemon art mostly without them like just suing you. But these these moves this year. Ooh boy. Yeah. Like, we like Nintendo, but these moves are absolutely terrible. Honestly, Blizzard pull pulled something like that with MLG, no? MLG was the one way to popularize StarCraft 2, and they, they disabled that. They shut down MLG, like, a couple years ago. The very next day, I stopped watching StarCraft 2 content. <laughs> it was the 
the most presentable, easy, watchable way to have like StarCraft 2 tournaments. They're very accessible on Twitch and the Blizzard shut them down. But the problem is Blizzard doesn't have like a, a good system like Riot has with, with the LCS to easily present the seasons and the tournaments. So if you don't have that as a company, why disable like the community people from monetizing tournaments? Like it's a market that you're not going after, so why don't you let other people have that market and promote your game? <laughs> I don't know. Very stupid. Very stupid. You're penalizing your own fan base and player base. Weird moves are being made.
It's apparently from... Uh, well, it's made to be like a teddy bear. But it's an original mascot. And it will always have the headphones below the ears <laughs> as a trademark. Contrast of colors. Boom. Nice. One more sketch and I would be halfway. Out of 16. Let's do it! <laughs> Hi, Fina. We're doing the thing.
people have been really liking the mascot and and everything. <laughs> I'm excited too. It's been really fun so far. Good work. Thank you. <laughs> we like the mascot. Yes, they will look pog. <laughs> <laughs> A full piñata. Hello, welcome. Good evening.
<laughs> I forgot a dummy G. Yeah, yeah, that that's that takes like a lot of experience. Over time, you just know, you know. After like six, uh, five years and a half or of doing this, over time, you just know how they're gonna look ahead of time in 28 by 28, and you know which detail to remove and which detail to add. <laughs> over time, you you understand the limitations and how to to prevent them to plan for it <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely uh, become like its own art form emotes but you see like super extremely talented artists that come from the game industry they come trying to make emotes and they can't do it they can't immediately do it at, at least like they need to learn the limitations it's just uh, its own thing Made by the man himself. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Good night, Gochu. Thanks again for the gift and the sub. Appreciate you. And just for hanging out. Because of my style? Yeah. Of course, like some of my work is way older than my new one. and Like those old Bast emotes. I've made them like so long ago. It's funny because Bast has some of my newer work and some of and some of my oldest for sure. <laughs> He's one of my oldest clients now. But you'll see that I've I've grown into have using a lot of different art well, I styles I think. I did I'm pretty sure I did create this style of like these this is like absolutely my old old school style that a lot of people copied after I made the emotes for Beru and I used that style for quite a few mascots over time I tried different eyes as you can see with these squirrels uh, Like these ones have more like white eyeballs. It's different. See? I like all of them. I like all of these styles that I try. Everything works. Yeah, some of the newer best emotes now also have white in the eyes, yeah. I like trying to be uh, to have the mascot be a bit versatile in the art style too. This way you can create the craziest uh, expressions. I was talking about that earlier. There's a limitation with using only the big 
pitch black BD eyes because they're essentially giant pupils so if you want to have an expression where the character is really shocked normally you would have like white eyeballs with little pupils to represent to portray that expression but you can't really do that with this so it's up to my client if some emotes will have like white eyeballs or if we just simply scrap that expression and go with something more neutral like this <laughs> because if the character as a base has these eyes I think it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt if some other some other of his expressions are like use white eyeballs you know it doesn't really destroy the identity if the other emotes have these big eyes these big black eyes For example, one of them is... Wait, oh no! Okay, no, no, right. Oh, the slain. Okay, no, that's different. Uh, hmm, emo? Not in this batch. Maybe in the future. <gasps> Fina, I have an I have an, uh, a question. Uh, let me see. The evil grin. I couldn't understand. He said very up close, like a, a close-up face. Angle looking up at face. I didn't know which. From which per perspective <laughs> are we looking up at the emote so that he is looking down at us or he's looking like I don't know <laughs> like this this would be the one I put in the chat is like a little bit <laughs> character just tilting down a little bit looking at you that's a different expression I'm just wondering which one you had in mind? Below his chin. So, okay. So that he's kind of looking down with an evil expression. I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. I could do something very dynamic with that. We could just kind of create something pretty, pretty crazy looking. Like in the angle, you know, I like it. <laughs> it's not easy, but I like where I could go with that. Sounds good, Fina. Yeah. Yeah, I can always easily make it like a, an A and B and just ask you.
<laughs> I like this. Oh, I love this sketch. <laughs> That's, that emote is gonna be great, I'm calling it. Especially if we put fire behind like this. doing this for a long time and it depends on the client really <laughs> I guess I don't know sometimes I prefer when the client is not there sometimes I don't really mind <laughs> right now I don't really mind, it's like the end of my stream and I'm pretty confident with where this is going. But I'm about done, it's 6pm, That's I have D&D, so that was my last sketch of the day. I really like this one! The, the fiery one, that's gonna be a highlight. They're turning out super well, yeah you think so? <laughs> Really glad to hear. I think so too. I think it's gonna be a great batch. Wants all polished with the colors and everything. And I'm I'm very happy with the ideas that you chose. It's a great list. Very good list. It's gonna be an awesome batch. Can't wait to post it on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Dom, have you seen Clip Studio Paint for making comics? I have, I have. I have not been using it because I'm so used to Photoshop already, but at some point I would like to, to get more into it. I own it and everything, and I always recommend Clip Studio as the best Photoshop alternative. Like, top three illustrator program with Photoshop and Procreate for Apple. It's an amazing software and it's very good for, yeah, exactly what I'm going to do in the future, more like uh, web, web comics and web series. So I might have to switch eventually. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's helpful to have a client in the chat. I mean, of course, it can be stressful, it can be annoying, depending, you know, <laughs> on the client and how much they backseat paint. If they don't backseat paint, then they're just there to answer questions or, or help in very helpful ways. It can be nice. The most important thing is, is to not backseat when you're actually, like, backseat on the drawing that I'm actually drawing. That's the one thing that triggers artists, streamers. Like, if I'm drawing something and then I get a backseat on that drawing, I hate it so much. Because my process is not done, you know? My process is not done and the person is giving you a tip that you were already going to try later. It's like, brrr, frustrating. <laughs> Because, yeah, you're going through a process and you want to reach the end of that process before getting tips or inputs. Because right now, I wouldn't mind any inputs. But not, like, while I'm drawing it. <laughs> That's awesome, Fina. Thank you. <laughs> This one is amazing! <laughs> With the view like that, we're looking down. Nice. It's gonna be a fun week. I'll continue these tomorrow. Probably a longish stream. We're gonna sketch like the eight others. And then the rest of the week, we're gonna color and polish them. Yeah, sure. Uh, we should probably do that. Send you the sketches when it's all done. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm gonna sketch the eight others tomorrow. And then we can revise them. The sketch is... Uh, like the biggest part actually of making an emo. The whole design process is, is there. So like polishing and coloring is actually like 10% of the work of an emo. <laughs> I mean, at least in difficulty. All right, guys, I'm gonna head off. I need to go eat before my DD game. But thank you so much for chilling with me and supporting me all day. I appreciate all of you for stopping by and chatting or lurking and uh, yeah I'll be here tomorrow hopefully much earlier like around noon EST my time of course all right guys have a great evening see you tomorrow